So before I do anything, I need to make the actual snake game. I'm going to make the, the grid layout. Let's see how many files we can fit. 10 is good for width. I think six should be fine for the height. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Great. Now we're going to have a render function. Okay, that's working too. If I really wanted, I could make it a bunch of squares and just color them, but I'll leave that to our graphics library. And now let's have the snake body. So body equals that. And then let's say the start of the array is the head of the snake. So we can make that zero, zero. Uh, then we don't need X and Y. We can just make that direction. Body dot. So that removes one of the tails. Then we want to push the first element once we modify it based on the direction. And let's see, three. Yes, okay. Body dot push. New pause. Great, so I do this should give me, that's great, there we go. And then if we did another step, it is two steps in front. This is some groundbreaking coding. Now we want to see if it eats an apple. So if it did not eat an apple, then we want to pop it. So here it should just be one there, but if it were, if there is an apple, great. There we go. Now every step we have to get rid of the apple and create a new apple. Now uh, we can reassign this every time there's an apple, and then instead of feeding in true, we can feed in if the head, you can just say equals apple. I don't know, JavaScript tools are weird. Let me check that out. We need to set the apple equal to two. There we go, so there's an apple there. So now we can make a step happen every, say, 100 seconds. That's not what I wanted. And I actually want it to separate the frames and maybe make it take a little bit longer in between frames. See if we can get one on the first row. Okay, so we just went right through the apple. So, apple is not defined. But actually all right, now we need controls. I'm gonna be honest, in all my time working with JavaScript, I have never used console input. So let me just look up how to do that real quick. Switch the direction to the index, so. If the body already has the new pass, let me just bring game over. Game over. There we go. Now we need to make it actually render. So to do that, we get differences between new grid and last grid. I'm just gonna make a new file for that. Let's make this like a few ones. We can copy this. Great. So there are some trues. So here we can define images. Now when we run it, there we go. Our uh, graphics library is working. Oh my gosh. This might be an issue with how quickly we're updating it. Okay, but it's working though. But where Apple? 
What the heck? What did I do? Okay, let's go down. Oh my gosh, it's working. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we have officially achieved peak stupidity. But also, Snake in the File Explorer. Can we kill ourselves? Is the question. This is so stupid. <laughs>